Hello, everybody. <laughs> He's so tall. He's a foot taller than me, so he has to like scrunch down. I have to be in front. We're in Anchorage still. Um, we were ju actually just checking out of the hotel. It was a wonderful hotel. This is a Crown Plaza in Anchorage, and I love it. I love it. This one and the Hyatt are like my two favorite places. The Hyatt place. Anyways, who are we meeting today? Leg life. Leg life and RZ Roll and Auburn. Like Lance has not met any of them. <laughs> I have not met RZ Roll. It's Justin and Lacey is her name. <laughs> but those are their channels. I'm going to link all the channels of everybody down below that we meet up with today. Um, we have until, our flight doesn't take off until 11. I think 11. I, I booked him. I'm asking him. Yeah. It doesn't take off until 11. So we have all day here in Anchorage. We don't have a rental car. We decided not to get one because one, it was way, 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 way too expensive. And Lyft is like half the price basically mm -hmm. of a rental car. Yeah. We're just going to Lyft around town. <laughs> We're actually going to head to the mall right now and check out the Fifth Avenue mall. Um, he needs to get some clothes. We were supposed to find some yesterday at the Diamond Mall, but didn't end up doing that. We just kind of walked around. There wasn't really like clothing places for you. Yeah, we weren't really looking. I don't know. Yeah, we were just kind of like wandering around. Yeah. It was nice, just low stress. Like that's what we like is low stress. So anyways, we're gonna head over to Fifth Avenue Mall and go, go around and then the barbecue here is in about four hours. I do have to say that these Birkenstocks that I got, they're like $40 on Amazon. They're like super comfortable sandals. We walked like 14,000 steps yesterday. Lights changing. We walked like 14,000 steps yesterday and my feet aren't even sore today. My legs are sore. <laughs> We're here at the mall. We're so excited. Oh, that's so crazy. We popped right into coach. What? That is expensive starting out. <laughs> we just got, uh, this is from, this is from the famous walk and it actually doesn't look too bad. Honest, honest opinion. Huh? Honest opinion. <laughs> We're currently at JCPenney's because that's what our life has come to is being a parent and shopping at JCPenney. It's like so much quieter in here, so it's more comfortable. They don't really have like, it's either, it's either like high school shops in the mall or like dad shops. So we're shopping at JCPenney's. Lance needs pants and he has a struggle. He's like so tall and he's a size 38, 34 and that's like borderline for normal sizes. So he's struggling finding any pair of pants that actually fit him. <laughs> and so he has this like small option that he gets to choose from, but it's been fun. It's very chill. It's very quiet here at the mall. It's a Sunday. When we were at the Diamond Mall yesterday, it was like crazy busy, but it was Saturday, so. These are heavy. I'm gonna lug these around. <laughs> so, he did find four pairs of pants. I was wrong. He tried the, th the 38, 34s on. He's actually 36, 34, which was actually. <laughs> wow, we just got all the business out here. Okay. <laughs> He's, is, is 36 we're the length? We're going down. 36 is okay. And they're a little loose too, so I have to have a belt. Yeah, but he found four pair of pants, which I don't think in our entire relationship of like 16 years, 15 years, Lovely, that he's ever. long, wonderful years. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. This really has been like so refreshing. This whole trip has just been like nice. It's nice for us to just be able to enjoy each other. Yeah. Life gets so busy as like parents that like, I mean, just life in general, but then like you throw kids on top of that and you, it's like, you don't have, you don't have time for yourself and it's hard to find time for like you and your spouse. So it's been very refreshing. Mm -hmm. With that being said, can I get the jorts? The jorts? Actually, I found a pair of uh, some khakis or well, some, get some cargo some cargos, too, khaki cargos. Look at those. But no, it's no on the jean shorts though. We're just not going to check the jean shorts out. I say you get a pair. I mean, it's like a... You just never know when you're going to do like a dad barbecue. I know. We were talking about how fun it would be to do like a dad barbecue where everybody dresses like a dad. You know, like the high socks and the New Balance shoes and the jean shorts. <laughs> oh my gosh, it'd be so funny to do. I mean, it'd just be like a good time. Like naturally would be such a good time. We'll do a 20 ounce white chocolate Americano with cream. Not too sweet. You too.
the real reason we came to the mall. We don't have one of these, Bath & Body Works. If by the very small chance you're watching, we need you. Fairbanks, okay? We just got done at the mall. It was so nice. It was like super quiet in there. Um, we ended up stopping at a little like cake shop. It's called Cake Studio here in the mall and they had these like beautiful little like cupcakes and cookies and it was like perfect because we're, we're bringing sides. Ben from Expedition Barbecue, he is actually starting up a food truck. He is doing all the meat and then we're all bringing sides. Um, I don't know much about it. We're just kind of showing up and I feel bad because I'm always like a helper person, but we are just waiting for a lift now. It's about 3.30 and I think we're gonna be there right on time, right? Sure. We're just waiting on the lift to come pick us up and then we're gonna um, head over to the barbecue. truck so i'm tuesday night so. <gasps> i have i have so many catering events i don't know when my grand opening is going to be oh, <laughs> a free weekend we really don't have free weekend until yeah. september oh my gosh <laughs> we're here at the barbecue we're having so much fun i haven't even picked up the camera to like vlog uh it's just like it's such good company there's adam and sherry here for leg life there's rz roll justin lacy there's Auburn. Um, again, I'm gonna put all their channels down below. Please go give them a follow. They're all like such good people. The vibe here is just fantastic. Like it's just friends hanging out. I've missed that so much. Like during the pandemic is just like getting together with good friends. So um, we're just sitting here enjoying it. It's rained a little bit, but we're under this pavilion here. So it's been um, totally fine. But um, they did think that there was a bear coming and that was quite eventful. But <laughs> it was not a bear, it was a dog. <laughs> oh. Bye! Oh, 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 oh. We're leaving. <laughs> Lift is here. <laughs> Had such a good time. Oh my gosh. We just came back to the hotel to pick up our bags. They actually held it for us, which was like really nice, so we didn't have to lug her big bag around which i don't know why we brought an entire bag but man that was such a like refreshing barbecue just everybody there was like so friendly and so kind i was like kind of like a little bit nervous going just because um, i had only ever met adam and sherry in auburn and there was like a whole group of people there and so i was like a little bit nervous i'm like you know we might be like the the outsiders <laughs> coming in and it was not at all everyone was super friendly and kind and it was just it was so nice to like get together hang out with friends i forgot to tell you guys there was an ice cream truck that showed up and if if you know me at all you know i love ice cream okay ice cream trucks brings so much joy to me because they're just happy everybody loves ice cream me i always told lance if i could have a dream job it would be an ice cream truck and i mean i would not make any money because i would literally give ice cream to anybody that couldn't pay for it <laughs> so I would, it would, it's not a good business venture for me but it's just so much joy in ice cream trucks so anyways he had a full soft serve ice cream machine in there and then it had like the flavor burst on the outside it was so cool oh my gosh and he had like some some fun music playing it was a good time it was like so refreshing to the soul to hang out with everybody so we're gonna go get a shuttle to the airport and probably hang out at the airport for a while because um our flight doesn't leave for like three hours but that's okay we'll have extra time um it was either leave at 11 o'clock tonight or leave like we would have to leave before the barbecue was even done. So um, we're just gonna get in extra late. And yeah, I can't wait to see the kids. I do miss them. Under the table? Okay, first, I'll show you what. He got a burger. 
I got a chicken sandwich with some fries. Also, I just ripped my toenail off. So there's that. So in that last clip, I said, I ripped my toenail off. And by toenail, I don't mean the fake one that I had put on yesterday. Remember how I said I was so excited to like have a normal toenail on that foot? I had that fake toenail put on. Well, I think because they drilled it down too low and the nail was already kind of brittle and then they stuck that hard fake nail on. I don't know what I did underneath the table at, we went to Silver Gulch. I don't know what I did, but I think my heel somehow caught my toenail and it literally ripped the whole thing off, including my toenail. It was bleeding everywhere. They don't have like a first aid place or anything here. They just have like a box of band-aids. So at TSA, yeah. So it was just, it hurts to walk, but it's not like unbearable. It's just like pulsing. What I did was like push the toenail down because it's not completely ripped off at the cuticle. I'm sorry if you're squeamish, but I pushed the toenail down and I put a huge band-aid over it. And this is what I have going on. And I will deal with it when I get home. But, um, oh yes, Lance put a band-aid on for me. I was like, can you do it? Because I, don't, I didn't want to take my shoe off because I didn't want to like bump it or anything. Anyways, sorry, it's, it's a little, little bit, I don't, I think, I'm not sure what this flushness is. Probably flustered from everything that just happened. But that's okay. Um, we're just gonna take it slow. Luckily, we got here early. We still have like half an hour, I think, before we even board. So we're just gonna chill. We're sitting in like a little quiet area with some tables. And then we'll board up soon here. Fairbanks it has been a crazy like 36 hours <laughs> yesterday morning we left Fairbanks it feels like we've been gone for days and I mean it does and it doesn't does it feel like we've been gone for a while where are we <laughs> he doesn't even know where we're at okay so something I did want to talk about was the reason I had to get the fake nail on the toe was because about three or four years ago I was playing around with the kids and I was hiding behind the door and I was popping out and scaring them and they were all running and crazy and we were like just having just a fun time. Well, one of the kids pushed the door into me like I was behind the door and it literally ripped up. You go this way. Oh, I was listening to you, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it ripped my toenail completely off of the nail bed and I like I didn't want to scare the kids so I like pushed it back down and I was like oh go get your dad and I was like secretly freaking out inside so then I had to clip that off it has taken years it's never grown back the way it was before it's just like a weird toenail it's never like grown past the bump of my toe if it's, it's kind of hard to explain but like the tip of my toe is kind of like bulged so like the nail never grew over that that's the story of now how i have ripped my toenail off twice <clears throat> so cool <laughs> it's okay nothing we can do about it now but it's it is pretty painful to like walk just puts pressure on it a lot um so we'll see we'll see i'm excited to be back home um, the kids are all in bed. It's almost midnight. Um, not that you can tell because it's like completely daylight out. I'm gonna end this one. Um, I'm just so grateful to be able to spend time with everybody today, today at the barbecue. It was a good time. I'm so thankful. Um, go check out their channels. Um, I know I've talked about leg life. RZ Roll is such a fun channel to watch. Like they're just the cutest little couple with two boys. Um, he does such a good job on like editing his videos. You would think he's had a channel for like 10 years. Um, shout out to Ben. He's Expedition Barbecue. I'm gonna put his Instagram down below. He does like catering and he's trying to start up a food truck. 
he just, he did an amazing job on the food. Auburn, who I wish I would have talked to a little bit more tonight, but she also has a channel, go check her out. Anyways, I'm gonna put everyone's channel down below. Thank you guys for coming along today. Thank you for coming along on our little, like, trip. It was so fun. It was. And Lance finally got to meet everybody, which was really cool, so. Not a robot. He's not a robot. Not a hologram. He may be a paid actor. <laughs> that was a debate. That was a debate. <laughs> Rent a husband. Rent a husband. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. And we will see you in the next video. Bye.